Amen. So magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Um, paalala lang po, alam ko po na, na miss natin ang isa't isa, pero observe po natin ang ating safety protocols. Uh, observe po natin yung social distancing and wear your mask at all times. Amen po ba? Amen. So, um, bago po tayo mag-umpisa, pangunahan po muna tayo ni Brother John sa kanyang opening prayer. So, let us all stand po. Thank you, Sis Hazel. Kamusta po? Pinaantok pa yung mga taga-kaana. Parang di ako taga ron eh. Po, uh, good morning po. Uh, tunay nga po na it really feels nice to be in the house of the Lord. Amen po. So, uh, ngayon po, uh, inaanya ko po ang lahat na tayo po yung uh, mako para sa ating uh, opening prayer. Sige po. Uh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Uh, maraming salamat po, Lord, sa haron ko, Lord, na yung pinag-love, Lord, upang uh, kami po ay uh, magsama-sama muli, Lord, upang ibalik, Lord, ang nararapat lamang po sa iyo, oh God. Lord, maraming salamat po, Lord, sa kaligtasan, Lord, na pagparito namin, oh God. Ganoon din po, Lord, sa mga nagsundo sa amin, Lord. Lord, uh, sa araw na to, Lord, uh, nawa, Lord, uh, ikaw lang, Lord, ang aming uh, mapupurian, Lord, may balik namin, Lord, ang lahat, Lord, ng pasasalamat, Lord, na nararapat, Lord, sa iyo. Lord, uh, sa mga gagamitin mo po, Lord, sa araw na to, Lord, sa aming mga pastor, MC, sa aming musicians, Lord, Uh, kayo po Lord, uh, mag-bless sa kanila Lord uh, Lord, uh, pinagpapray ko po Lord na ang safety Lord ng bawat isa, oh God sa uh, panambahang ito, oh God uh, Lord, uh, kapuspusin mo po Lord ang uh, puso ng bawat isa, Lord uh, iniklaim ko na rin po Lord ang katagumpayan Lord, ng aming gawain Lord and uh, Lord, uh, balutin mo po Lord ang, iyong, uh, ang panambahang ito Lord ng iyong banal na ispirito, oh God Lord, uh, wala na po kami ibang mahihiling Lord kundi uh, maibalik lamang Lord ang para sa iyo, God. Ito po, Lord, ang aking samod na langan, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray. Amen and Amen. for the follow for the following um, brethren na gagamitin po sa araw na to mula po sa preacher kay Pastor Edmer Gonzalez opening prayer bro Chan Punlagao worship leader brother Macregor Nunez MC Titan Nothering and scripture reading sister Hazel Casino praise and worship pangunahan po tayo ng alpha and omega and technical team uh, assign po si voice of Zion so yun so dako po tayo sa ating um, Titan Nothering I um, would like to share with you the Bible verse coming from Luke 6.38. And it says, Give and it will be given to you a good measure pressed down, shaken together, and running over. It will be poured into your lap. For the measure you use, it will be measured to you. So, um, habang um, uh, nagde-devotion po ako sa verse na to, is, Um, parang ang dumating is instead of focusing on what what we can get why why not maybe maybe this time it's time to ano to to focus on what we can give so instead na get pa more kay Lord give pa more kasi parang the more we give um, the more we see the amazing ability to receive Kumbaga, the more we give, the more we open our hands to to receive. Kumbaga, ang naging realization ko is, oo nga, no, kapag nag-get tayo, ba yung hands natin nakaganto? Pag get lang, na, parang get and then close. Get and then close. Pero kapag ka, we open our our hands always na magbigay, parang receive, give, receive, give, and we all we all be the, ano, the channel of blessing. Papa. 
ano, uh, brothers and sisters natin na hindi makakadaloon uh, dito personally. Um, you can coordinate po with our respective admins per locations. Contact nyo lang po as per um, posted in the screen para po sa inyong mga tithes and offering and also po as para po dun sa mag, mga gustong dumalo um, advice nyo lang po ako or kung sino po sa mga admin para po ma-schedule natin yung trans po and, and ina-advise din natin na hanggang um, na maglilimit tayo ng attendees into 25 persons only so tayo po magsitayo po nating awitin ng ating doxology. in heaven, Lord. We thank you for this blessed day, Lord. Thank you for keeping us safe, Lord, na nakarating ko kami ng safe and sound dito sa panambahan mo, Lord. And Lord, I offer you this, we offer you this tithes and offering you, Lord, para magamit sa kabutian mo. And Lord, I pray, Lord, na uh, each of us have give us a heart full of um, generosity, Lord, that we may be able to give reluctantly and cheerfully, Lord, for your glory. In the, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So, tinatawagan ko po ang ating worship leader for today, um, Brother Kokoy. Hey, amen. Um, praise God, uh, tayo magkakasamang muli sa, ta, sa araw ng Friday. Uh, uh, masaya kami at uh, tayo ay uh, malusog malakas at uh, pagamat nagkakaroon ng uh, sakit na yun ay normal at nandiyan ang Panginoon para tayo ay pagalingin niya. Ano, ating mo lang palakpakan ng Panginoon sa kabutihan uh, sa goodness ng Panginoon. Uh, welcome po pala yung ating uh, pastor uh, ano ang pangalan mo sa Janice, uh, welcome sa JCM uh, Ako po ang inyong uh, gagamit ngayon ng worship leader bago tayo magsimula ay bless po at kaiwanan ang um, salita ng Panginoon sa awit uh, verse 143 uh, chapter 140 verse 1 to 3 sabi ng pang, ang sabi dito ay purihin ang Diyos itong kalangitan kayo sa itaas siya ay papurihan ang lahat ng anghel magpurit magdiwang kasama ang purong karamihan Ang araw at buwan siya ay purihin. Purihin din siya ng mga bituin. Amen. Um, Tinan nyo, ano, mga, even mga bituin, anghel, araw, nagpupuri sa Panginoon. Ano tayo pa kaya mga tao lang? Ano, um, ano man ang ating uh, ginagawa sa, uh, sa pagtugtog, pagkanta, sintunado man, um, lalo na sa drums mamaya, sintunado, But hindi naman yan importante. Ang importante yung, uh, yung puso mo, uh, yung communication mo sa Panginoon. No? At yun nga po, uh, inaanyayan ko ang, uh, ang uh, UPM para sa ating pagsisimula. Yeah. 
Ayan, good morning po sa ating lahat. Good morning po. Sige po, tayo pong lahat ay tumayo para awitan at papurihan ang ating Panginoon. Sino po ba dito yung sa atin yung ano, excited na na magpuri sa ating Panginoon? Amen. Oh, mukhang ano po, mukhang mahina po. Sige po, ibahin natin yung tanong. Sino po dito yung nagpunta na pagod? Sino po dito yung nagpunta na puyat? Sino po dito yung nagpunta na may dinaramdam, may problema, may trials? Pero sino po dito yung nagtitiwala sa Panginoon na lahat ng nararamdaman natin, lahat ng kung anong pagod yung nararamdaman natin, nagtitiwala sa Panginoon na ibibigay niya yung kalakasan na hinahanap natin. Amen, Amen po ba yon? Sabi po sa Matthew, mapalad daw yung mga taong nagnanais na makasunod sa kagustuhan ng Panginoon. So mapalad po tayo na nandito. So kung ano man po yung mga mga pinagdadaanan natin, mga sorrow natin, sabi po dun sa kanta, I'm trading my sorrow, shame, sickness, pain, Lahat. I'm trading all to glorify the Lord. Amen? Can I say yes, Lord? Sige nga po sabihin natin, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, ready? Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Trading my sorrow. Them trading my sorrow. Them trading my shame. Them laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sickness. Them trading my pain. Them laying them down. For the joy of the Lord. Come on, church, let's say yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. I say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. So, so, not coming to your Lord. I'm trading my sorrow. And I'm trading my shame. And I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. And I'm trading my sickness. And I'm trading my pain And I'm laying them down For the joy of the Lord Come on church, yes Lord I say yes Lord, yes Lord, yes, yes Lord Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes, yes Lord Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes, yes Lord, amen I say yes Lord, yes Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Sabi po sa kanta, Yes, Lord. Magpupuri ako sa kabila ng kung ano man yung nararamdaman natin. Amen po ba yun? Sige pa, sabihin natin sa Panginoon, Lord, we will praise you whatever, whatever we have right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Church, yes, Lord. I say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Speak to the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. I am pressed but not a crush. Persecuted not abandoned. Set down but not destroyed. I am blessed beyond a curse. For His promise will endure. But this joy is gonna be my strength. 
Though the sorrow may last for a night, his joy comes in the morning. I'm trading my sorrow, I'm trading my shame. And I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Yes, Lord, for the joy of you. I'm trading my sickness, and I'm trading my pain, and I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Oh, church, yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Come on, Miss Anpa. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. For the last time, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Sige nga po, bigyan natin ng malakas na malakas na palapak ang ating Panginoon. Yes, we praise you, Father. Hey, Jesus. Yes, tunay nga po, Lord, na yung buhay namin is in you, Lord, para lang sa'yo, Lord. Hallelujah. My life is in you, Lord, my strength is in you, Lord, my hope is in you, Lord, is in you, is in you. My life is in you, Lord, my strength is in you, Lord, my hope is in you, Lord, it's in you. Is in you, 
Lamb Church, let's declare My life is in you, Lord, my strength is in you, Lord, my hope is in you, Lord, it's in you, it's in you. My life is in you, Lord, my strength is in you, Lord, my hope. It's in you, Lord. It's in you. 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 My Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pwede po ba natin kantahin ulit yung pinaka-last verse? Sabi, My life is in you, Lord, my strength is in you, Lord, my hope is in you, Lord, it's in you, it's in you, Lord. Hallelujah. Sabi po doon, my strength is in you, Lord, my hope is in you. Sabi po sa Isaiah, sabi po doon, Though you walk through the deep waters, I will be with you. Though you walk through the rivers, rivers of struggle, rivers of pain, rivers of anxiety, rivers of problem, sabi doon, it will not overtake you. If you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. Hallelujah. Yun yung pinakamagandang verse, sabi doon, Because I love you, and you are precious to me. You are precious to me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Tunay nga na we face struggle. Sabi nga nung papa ko nung nag-zoom kami, sabi nga, the great thing about Christian, makakaramdam tayo ng fear. Normal yan. Makakaramdam tayo ng takot sa future natin. Makakaramdam tayo ng anxiety. Pero the great thing about being a Christian is that we have hope. Meron tayong pinanghahawakan na pangako ni Lord. We just have to magbabad tayo dun sa presence niya, dun sa pangako niya na sinasabi niya sa atin, Be still. Kung naiingayan ka sa mundo, kung naguguluhan ka sa mundo, sabi ni Lord, Be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Speak to us, Lord. Remind us of your promises, Lord God. Sabi doon, makakaramdam tayo ng fear. Pero sabi ni Lord sa salita niya, Perfect love cast out fear. Perfect love. Because we have perfect love. We know na si Lord, aalisin niyo yung fear ng bawat isa sa atin. If we just relay, if we just remind ourselves to His promises. Kasi hindi naman pinangako ng mundo na walang tayong struggle. But He promised us that I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, hide us, Lord God. Hallelujah.
feel you. Know you, Lord. Let's speak to the Lord. Find rest, ma. Yes, Lord, bigyan mo ng kapahingan yung puso namin, Lord. Father, you said in your words, be still and know that I am God. Lord, you are in control. You are in control of everything, Panginoon. our soul, Lord God. Sabi sa Isaiah, Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will never be shaken. Though My covenant of peace will not be moved, says the Lord who have compassion on me. 
Alam niyo po yung kung gaano tayo kamahal ni Lord? Sabi niya, though the mountains may fall, though the mountains may shaken, be shaken and the hills be removed. But yet, my unfailing love for you, yung unfailing love ni Lord, cast out all our fears. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, you says in your word, Panginoon, perfect love cast out fears. And thank you, Lord, dahil we have that perfect love, Panginoon. We have you, Panginoon, na nagtatanggal ng fears namin, nagtatanggal ng kung anong nararamdaman namin. Lord, you know every details of our heart. Alam mo kung ano yung, yung mga fear namin, kung ano yung mga anxiety namin, Lord God. Lord, Let us remind us of your love, Panginoon. Let us remind us of your unfailing love, Lord, of your promises, Lord God. And Jesus, all my fears fade away when I see you. When I see you, Jesus, all my fears fade away. When I see you, when I see you, Lord, haya among tumingin kami sa yon. Come on, church. All my fears fade away. When I see you, Lord, worship the Lord. Jesus, all my fears fade away when I see you, when I see you, Jesus, all my fears fade away when I see you, when I see you. Shout to the Lord, when Lord, you, your perfect love casts out fear. Hallelujah, Jesus. You, when we see you, Lord God, na wala yung fear namin for. Fears fade away when I see you. When I see you, Jesus. Oh Jesus, all my fears fade away. When I see you, when I see you, it's the one thing that I need, one thing that I need, Lord, your presence is all I ever seek, Jesus, your presence is 
is all I ever see. Overwhelm me with your love till all I see is you. Till all I see is you. Jesus, all my fears fade away when I see yes, Lord. you. Jesus, all my fears fade away when I see you, when I see you, Jesus, all my fears fade away when I see you, when I see you. you says in your word perfect love cast out fears Lord God this one thing Lord yung gusto namin is your presence Lord God that cast out all our fears Lord we know Panginoon we know that your word is true Father you says in your word you will never leave us. You will never forsake us. Lord, thank you. Thank you for your unfailing love. Thank you for reminding us of all your promises, Lord God. Na kahit na anong mangyari, in the midst of trial, in the midst of whatever we feel, Lord, in the midst of anxiety, Lord God, you are God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And you are in control of everything. Your, your presence, Lord, your promises, Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus. It's all we ever seek, Lord. We ever seek you, Lord God. Your face, Lord God, hallelujah. Your presence is all I ever seek. did I need your presence. Is all I ever seek. Overwhelm me with your love. Till all I see is you. All I see is you. Jesus, all our fears are fading. Yes, Lord. Ang sarap sabihin, Lord. Kapag nakikita ka namin, Lord. All our fears are fade away. All our anxiety are fade away, Lord. 
All our pain are fade away, Lord God. All our trials are fade away, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. Dakila ka, Lord. And you are faithful. You are faithful to your promises, Lord God, sa buhay ng bawat isa sa amin. Lord, remove all our anxiety. Remove all our pain. Remove everything, Lord. Nakikita mo yung puso ng bawat isa, Panginoon. You know our hearts, Lord. Alam mo kung anong meron dito, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your unfailing love, Lord. We will worship you, Lord God. We will lift your name on high, Lord God. We will glorify your name, Lord God. Hallelujah, hey, Jesus. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Sa iyo po namin ibinabalik, tinataas, Panginoon. Ang lahat, Panginoon, isinosurrender namin, Lord, ang lahat ng meron kami, lahat ng burden sa puso namin, sabi mo nga sa iyong salita, cast all your fears. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, thank you, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat po. Tinataas po namin ang lahat ng ito sa iyong pinakamataas na pangalan. In Jesus' name, everybody says, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. gagamitin ng Panginoon sa araw na ito. Um, nakalimutan ko lang, ano, uh, i-welcome natin back si Brother John. Brother John, welcome back. Uh, kami ay nag-worry kasi akala namin ay lumipat ka na sa iba. So, so but uh, kami, na-miss ka namin at masaya kami na nakita ka namin dito. Um, um, Our scripture reading for today is from the book of Philippians, chapter 3, verses 1 to 6. Chapter 1. Further, my brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. It is no trouble for me to write the same things to you again, and it is, the, it is a safeguard for you. Verse 2. Watch my power for those so, so for evil doers. Verse 3, for it is we who are the circumcision, who we serve God by His Spirit, who boast in Christ Jesus, and who put no confidence in the flesh. Verse 4. So I myself have confidence in such a subject, that someone else may have reason to put confidence in the flesh, and have no Verse 5, circumcised on the eighth day, of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, in their regard to a law, a Pharisee. Verse 6, sabay-sabay po tayo. As a zeal, persecuting the church, as a righteous base, on the law of faultless. To God be the glory. Today, tinatawag ko na pang ating preacher for today, Pastor Edmer Gonzalez. be the glory.
church. Is it uh, because of uh, the weather or talagang mainit ang binibigay sa ating pakiramdam ng Panginoon? Joy in believing. Okay, who wants to proclaim that they want to know Jesus? Raise your hand. Don't be shy. Who wants to know Jesus? hindi ang iyong boses, Panginoon, na gusto mong iparating sa mga kapatid na narinito ngayon sa oras na ito, Panginoon. Amin po, inihiling sa inyo ang iyong banal na spirito ay lumuhog sa aming lahat dito, Panginoon. Lahat po kami ay basbasan ng iyong blessings, O God. Ngayon na rin po ang mga kapatid namin na nasa labas at nakikinig, Panginoon, kayo po ang patuloy na magbigay sa kanila ng linaw ng isipan, Panginoon, at sa mga kapatid po namin na nanonood. Panginoon, sa live stream po namin kayo po magbigay sa kanila ng liwanag ng pag-iisip, Panginoon at uh, para po madinig ang iyong salita, Panginoon at may sa Panginoon po ang aming sample lang sa inyo The title for today's uh, worship service is uh, Sherwin Content, yan Working, Joy in Believing, Part 1. And this is actually about four-part series, yung chapter 3. However, we will focus a little bit on part on trust and confidence. That is about from chapter 3 and 1 to 6. What is our understanding about trust and confidence? Parang ano lang, ha? relationship goals understanding between the difference and trust of confidence. Well, definitely this is a relationship goal. That's why I asked you earlier kung gusto niyong makilala ang Panginoon, kung gusto niyo siyang makausap. And this is about the trust and confidence. Uh, nabasa na natin yung message verse natin, which is 3 to 6. When I'm preparing this uh, message from the Lord, I I'm thinking that if it's too short, uh, siguro nagpasalamat yung nag assist sa akin sa PowerPoint kasi medyo short talaga yung yung uh, presentation for today. It's only about 10 slides. But always, when we are sharing the gospel, we will let the Holy Spirit speak in our behalf kung ano yung gusto niyang iparating. Because if I will add the next part, with I know that all of you will be excited, you will be understanding what we meant by the trust and confidence. When we are reading the gospel, the Bible verses earlier, most of us will not be able to understand or hindi natin makukuha agad kung ano ang gustong iparating sa atin unless we open our heart and we over our, open our minds kung ano yung message na gustong iparating sa atin ng Panginoon. So church, 
Be ready. Cast out all of your burdens for now. Alisin muna natin kung anong nasa isipan natin. And pakinggan natin kung ano ang gustong sabihin sa ating mga Panginoon all throughout His message. We start with verse 1, which very significantly, Jesus said, Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoicing in the Lord comes in a number of pictures, different themes, different understanding while rejoicing in the Lord. Do you know how many times rejoice is being mentioned in the book of Philippians? Bukang hindi rejoice yung pili nyo ngayon eh. Tingin muna kayo sa kanan. Kapatid, rejoice. Kanan. Rejoice. Rejoice. Yan. Tingin kayo sa kaliwa. Kapatid, rejoice. Now, may smile na sa, sa inyong mga face. Sana gayon din kayo sa akin kasi nandito naman ako. Sabihin nyo rin sa akin, rejoice. Amen. Uh, in the book of Philippians, actually it is mentioned nine times about the word rejoice. But if you'll be remembering yung previous study natin from uh, chapter 1 and chapter 2 up to this point, it is mentioned already eight times. And what, there's different understanding about rejoicing. First, in Philippians 1.18, what does it matter? The important thing is that in every way, whether from false motives or true, Christ is preached. And because of this, I rejoice. Two times. Yes, and I will continue to rejoice. This is the message of Apostle Paul to those so-called believers na ginagamit ang pangalan ng Panginoon kahit na sa hindi magandang bagay. Like magic, like para sa sariling games, para sa sariling uh, kapakanan. But Apostle Paul is saying, I will still rejoice kasi ginagamit ang pangalan ng Panginoon. Because you know why? Ask me why, mga kapatid. Why? Ang power ng salita ng Panginoon ay hindi nanggagaling sa inyo. Maaring ang message nyo sa kapwa nyo, it's not coming through your heart, but you mention it in a Bible verse. It's the Holy Spirit that is working in your behalf. Hindi kayo. Is it clear? That is what we meant by that first rejoice. Second, it's mentioned in Philippians 2.17. But even if I am being poured out like a drink offering on the sacrifice and service coming from your faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you. Verse 18, So you told, so you too should be glad and rejoice with me. In this theme, rejoicing here is about when Apostle Paul is suffering. How many of you can share that you are still rejoicing even though you are suffering? Even though you are struggling? Apostle Paul was in prison. Nakakulong po siya. And sinasabi niya sa kanyang mga churchmate, sa kanyang uh, Philippians uh, believers na huwag niyo akong alalahanin. Rejoice! Kahit na alam ko na ang mangyayari sa akin, either he will be jailed, either he will be crucified, either he will be punished, still rejoice. Kasi gusto ko tong ginagawa ko na to. Ang ginagawa ko na to para sa Panginoon. Hindi kayo dapat magdamdam para sa akin. Rejoice in the Lord. And third, sinabi niya sa Philippians 2.28, I will read in the versions of uh, English Standard Version. I am the more eager to send him, therefore, that you may rejoice, in NIV it's mentioned glad, at seeing him again, and that I may be less anxious. This is the time when Aphroditeus is sick. Pero nandudun pa rin si Aphroditeus para Aphroditeus para samahan si Apostle Paul sa kanyang gawain. And yet, gusto niyang pabalikin sa Philippians Church para hindi sila mag-worry. Para hindi rin siya mag-worry. This is how rejoicing in the Lord. Yung context ng rejoicing in the Lord, it's not only because you're feeling well, 
It's not only because you're feeling fine. It's not only you're feeling good. Rejoicing comes in the Lord even your times of struggles. Reduce, rejoicing comes in the Lord even in the times that you are praying for others. Gusto mong maging maligaya ang iba. Kahit na ikaw ay nagkakaroon ng paghihirap sa sarili mo. And why it is important? Because it is a safeguard for you. Really, it is a safeguard for you. What we meant by safeguard, ito yung nagbabantay sa iyo. Nagbabantay sa puso mo na kahit ano pa man ang pangyayari sa buhay mo, masaya ka pa rin dahil ang Panginoon ang nasa sa iyo. All the all the sharings, all the the what we're hearing right now, it's about suffering, it's about trials, it's about challenges. Can we not speak about rejoicing even though you're feeling these challenges, these trials, these disappointments? That is what meant by Apostle Paul here. This is his reminder to his church, in all circumstances, rejoice. And next, do watch out. It is mentioned in chapter 3, verse 2. Watch out. Ano ba yung pinababantayan ni Apostle Paul? It's mentioned there, watching out against those dogs and evil doers. What we understand about these dogs, uh, history time muna po tayo. Earlier time, the dogs in the earlier period, they are astray. No, yung mga, ano ba sa Tagalog yung astray? Huh? Askal. Hindi, hindi na ngayon askal. Magagalit sila. Uh, Aspin. Ha? Asong Pinoy, right? Aspin. Aspin na ngayon. Ibig sabihin, before, hindi sila naalagaan. Unlike ngayon na domesticated na yung mga hayop. Inaalagaan na sa bahay. Um, what is the reason being is, yung mga dogs before na astray, lahat ng makikita nila, kinakain lang nila ng kinakain. Very wild. These are the description of the dogs earlier. In the earlier Christian time, it's like on the first century Philippians pa lang, sinasabi nila na they were very aggressive. Parang scavengers sila. Like, yung mga magnanakaw, like, devouring everything that they see, it's like them. And it's also mentioning about these false teachers. That they're looking only for their own interest. Inahihan tulad sa context na ito ni Apostle Paul, yung tinatawag na aso sa, sa teksto na ito sa mga false teacher na wala silang iniisip kundi yung kanilang sariling kapakanan lamang. And it's mentioned in Revelation 22.15 Outside are the dogs, those who practice magic arts, the sexually immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. This is the message coming from the Lord na hindi niya papapasukin sa kanyang syudad ang mga ganitong klaseng tao. Sana naman, alam natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng sexually immoral. Sana naman, alam din natin ang ibig sabihin ng mga murderers and also idolaters. But let us focus a little bit about practicing falsehood. Sino ba yung mga nagpa-practicing, nagpa-practice ng falsehood? These people who had gone in their lives very wrongly, that they're already a part of Satan family. Alam nyo naman ang kayang gawin ni Satan ngayon, di ba? Hindi naman nila kayo kayang galawin pa eh. But he can all the time deceive. This is, the, this is kind of people na magdi-deceive na lamang. And pwede nating identify kung sino-sino ba tong mga deceiver na ito. These are the, sabi pa nga ni Apostle Paul, hypocrites. They are trying to live something in their life, pero hindi naman sila ganun. Linggo-linggo, nagsisimba. Every Bible study, nandu doon. Every prayer meeting, nandu doon. Meron pang personal devotion. The problem is, hindi nakikita sa kanyang pamumuhay yung kanyang pinag-aaralan. Sounds familiar? 
Among these believers, so-called believers, they are compromising on their faith. Hindi na nila madistinguish kung ano yung totoo at kung ano yung pinapalagay nilang totoo. Because they're justifying it is the truth even though it's not the truth. Bigat, no? Matatawag pa rin ba mga believers din ito? Uh, especially in these times that had happened in, in us, this pandemic. A lot of people have lost their ability to distinguish what is right and wrong. Alam ng mali, ginagawa pa rin. Alam ng hindi tama, ginagawa pa rin. These sunless people um, gumagawa na ng paraan para i-justify kung yung kanilang ginagawa. Then, wala na silang self-know-how to di- distinguish between the truth and the lies. What they're doing outside, showing it is the truth, but inside, God always sees us. And He knows if it's the truth and He knows if it's a lie. By believing on these things na ginagawa natin alam namang mali, then you are deceiving yourself. And then, ano yung sinabi ko kanina earlier? Who is the father of the deceiver? Sana wala ditong anak nun. But again, Think, brothers and sisters, if you are doing something that you are deceiving yourself, then you are not on the right hand of God. So be careful. Honesty, in the end, wins out, regardless whatever happens. Do watch out, number two. Evil doers, those mutilators of the pl- of the flesh. When we're talking about these evil doers, this mutilator of the flesh, it's very specific po ito. Para lang maintindihan natin. The Philippians, in this context, ang sinasabi ni Apostle Paul dito, is yung mga believers na sinusunod yung batas ng church, pero hindi ipinasa sa pamuhay. That is called the mutilators of the flesh. Yung bang sumusunod lang sila sa religious belief, sa mga rituals, pero hindi yung katotohanan ang pananampalataya lamang sa Panginoon ang magliligtas sa kanila. In this context, Apostle Paul is saying that those believers saying that they are believers, sinusunod nila yung law of Abraham about circumcision and yet, hindi sila sumusunod or hindi nila pinakinggan na yung Messiah na, na um, pinedik na darating is Jesus Christ. This is what they cannot believe. This is what they cannot understand. This is what they cannot accept. In Titus 1, 10, 11, again, this is in the context of the, of the um, false teachers. For there are many rebellious people full of meaningless talk and deception, especially those of the circumcision group. Ito yung mga grupo na to. Ito yung sinasabing yung church na ito, yung circumcision group. Uh, it's they are called Judaizers. You know, they are galing din sila sa lineage ng mga Israelites. But they are favoring the Old Testament, which is not wrong, it's also positive the Torah. However, in the Torah what only they are saying is just following the church. There's no mention of Jesus Christ. And in verse 11, they must be silenced. Because they are disrupting full household by teaching things that they ought not to teach. Kaya po mag-ingat tayo sa mga ganitong paniniwala. It's somehow related to our understanding. Why we keep on pushing on having the worship service? Is it for us? It's for everyone. Para po maipagpatuloy natin yung tamang pag-aaral, yung tamang pagkilala, yung tamang pakikipag-usap sa Panginoon. And on point of study number three, we have only four points, kaya sabi ko sa inyo, maiksi lang. Don't put confidence on the flesh. 
what we meant by not put confidence on the flesh. Again, on the text na pinag-aaralan natin, putting confidence on the flesh is about trusting yourself. Trusting oneself. And here, in, in this context, it's about the Jewish custom of circumcision. I know this one, marami pong nagtanong dito about circumcision. Um, lalo na yung mga nag-aaral ngayon ng Bible study uh, about the Acts kasi ilang beses itong nabanggit. There's two types. In the earlier testament, yung circumcision ay pinapalo lalo na ng mga kalakit, kalalakihan to express their um, uh, pagsunod sa Panginoon. Yung kanilang obedience. For example, when all of us are, are agreeing to do the water baptism, you're proclaiming your obedience. Amen? When we are doing the monthly, for us it's monthly um, uh, Lord's Supper, we are communing with God. We are abiding. Sinusunod natin siya. But that not necessarily mean your salvation. Okay? Malinaw po yun. The circumcision nowadays, there's two things still. One is your physical hygiene, which most of us are following. Especially, I mean, of course, yung mga kalalaking yan. Okay? That's the physical hygiene. But what we're talking about related to the circumcision of the heart, that's no longer physical. That is spiritual. Meaning to say, you need to remove something from your heart. You need to circumcise your heart. Why you need this particular part in your heart, which is earlier belief, is wrong. You need to remove on that. Paano mananahan sa inyo ang Panginoon kung punong-puno ang, kung punong-puno ang puso nyo ng ibang bagay? Sige nga, maupo ka nga sa isang upuan na may nakaupo na, lalo pat ang lapad-lapad ng nakaupo. Paano kayo magkakasya? Huwag kayong tumingin kesyo. What I mean to say, kailangan bawasan mo ang nasa sa loob ng puso mo at bayaan mo manirahan doon ang Panginoon. And keep Him there. Let Him be there para mag-guide sa inyo. This is what we meant by uh, circumcision of the heart. So it's very clear na about the circumcision. It's nothing wrong even in the Jewish uh, Jewish tradition or Jewish rites. Sinabi nga to ni Apostle Paul in Philippians 3.5 Sabi niya na ay So sinabi niya, inadmit niya that even him he is circumcised. Practice of true followers of Jesus is this is what we need to understand. Kaya natin i-differentiate yung circumcision about the old thinking compared to what you should really practice is for you to understand na ang pagsunod sa church sa sinasabi ng church will not meant your salvation but it is a positive way but it's not your salvation these are the true practices the true followers of Jesus these are the practices that we should follow Worship is spiritual and recognizable by a focus on the Holy Spirit work in their lives. Maintindihan po nyo ang ibig kong sabihin nito later on, but let me just briefly mention na sumusunod ka sa gawain ng Panginoon, hindi because sa sinasabi ng mga elders, hindi because sa mga deacons, hindi because of the leaders ng UPM, kundi yung Holy Spirit na naninirahan sa iyo. Dadalo ko sa gawain, hindi dahil sa tinawagan ako, hindi dahil sa kinamusta ko. Hindi yung sa Holy Spirit na nasa sa akin. Second, faith and worship in Christ, not the law. This is what I meant. Ang ginagawa nating pagsunod ay dahil sa ating pananampalataya na nanasa atin na. Hindi ka sumusunod dahil ikaw ay nananampalataya. Ikaw ay sumunod dahil ang pananampalataya ay nasa sa iyo. Okay, there's two different things. The Old Testament have looked forward to 
the Messiah. Kung nakapag-aral kayo ng Old Testament, may nabanggit ba doon na Jesus? Wala, di ba? But they mentioned the Chosen One. They mentioned King of Kings. They mentioned about Messiah. They mentioned about the Holy One. Ito yung pinanghawakan ng mga unang mananampalataya. Ang inisip nilang darating, isang nila lang na hari ang dating. Nagulat sila nung ang dumarating sa loob ng Israel, nakasakay sa isang maliit na uh, donkey. Bisiro. Correct. Okay. Bisiro. Sorry, I don't understand much of the God. <laughs> na, nakasakay sa isang bisiro. Simple lang ang pananamit. But still, people are waving their their praises, Hosanna, Hosanna. Pero iba yung paniniwala ng mga elders before. Again, we are going to this context, yeah? Ang iniisip nilang darating na Son of God is magarbong hari. Because by that time, they are be- being persecuted by the Roman Empire. Gusto nila yung taong mag sa kanila sa paghihirap nila sa Roman Empire. Next, Christians don't stake their eternity or their spiritual lives on rituals or their own good works. Malinaw to. Kahit na anong pagsasalita ang gawin mo sa harap, kahit na ilang kanta ang iyong kantahin, kahit na ilang beses mong mabasa ang Bible, ito ay kagagawan mo, hindi ito ang magdidigtas sa'yo. Uh, it's still coming from the grace of God. Part of this own doing of spiritual lives and rituals is again what we call circumcision. This is part of their rituals. Earlier, people are thinking that this will save them kapag sinunod nila yung mga ritual. No. What Apostle Paul is saying here is that true salvation comes only from Christ. Are we amen to that? Amen. Yeah. And then last last point, impressive credentials. Bakit ko nasabing impressive credentials? Akala nyo nagmamayabang si Apostle Paul, di ba? Let's see kung ano yung sinabi niya, kung natatandaan nyo pa. In verse 4, ang sabi po niya, Though I myself have reasons for such confidence, if someone else thinks they have reasons to put confidence in the flesh, I have more. Nag-preach si Apostle Paul sa mga sa sinagog, sa mga Kristiyano na iniisip nilang sila ang tama. Sila ang nakakataas. Sila ang may alam. Kaya sinabi na Apostle Paul na, Ako pa? Sabi niya sa mga pinagsasabihan niya. Ang sabi niya, don't me. Hindi lang nakasulod dyan, pero ang sabi niya, don't me. Ang sabi niya kasi is, huwag ako. Dahil lahat ng sinabi niyo na pagdaanan ko, ginawa ko, at nangyari sa akin. Ano-ano yon? This is the point. Again, hindi po siya nagmamayabang. Ha? Sinasabihan niya nito mga Kristiyano na kanyang kinakausap. Ang sabi niya sa verse 5 and 6, Circumcised on the eighth day. This is the main, main, main uh, guideline or rule ng Jewish people. Pagkapanganak, on the eighth day, kailangan ng circumcise, Kailangan ng tuliin. He is really a people of Israel. Doon siya galing. Hindi siya galing sa ibang bansa, like the other Gentiles, na hindi puro, siya purong Israelita. Tribe of Benjamin. There are only two tribes, which is very pure in the time of uh, the Israelite. And one of that is Benjamin. Doon siya galing sa tribo na yon. So he can proclaim himself a Hebrew of Hebrews. In regard to the law, which is yung law or batas na mga pariseo, isa siya sa mga officers. He is a parisi. Ito yung credentials siya. Ha? And six, as far as per zeal, okay, persecuting the church. Zeal, yung sinasabi nating marubdob na pagsunod. Nung hindi pa niya naiintindihan 
ang true meaning of Christianity, sino ang mga umusig sa mga Christian? Siya. Dahil saan? Sa mga napag-aralan niya. Dahil sa sarili niyang karunungan. Dahil sa kanyang pagbabasa. Hindi dahil sa kanyang tunay na pag-iintindi. Lastly, as for righteousness, based on the law, meron silang libro. Yung yan sinasabi ko, Torah, based on the law. He is faultless. Ito yung credentials ni Apostle Paul. Kaya sinasabi nito na, ano ang magagawa nyo sa akin? Bakit ayaw nyo akong pakinggan? Ito ang aking credentials. Ito ako. And sinasabi ko sa inyo, si Jesus lamang ang kaligtasan. Which is wala dito. Nasa 7 to 12 po yun, Which is our next verse, 7 to 15. And I hope you will be excited na continue natin ang pag-aaral nito. Of course, this is the purpose pur- points of study. Again, for one, rejoice in the Lord at all times. Second, do watch out. Mag-ingat tayo. Kaya patuloy namin kayong in-encourage na dumalo at mag-aral. Don't put confidence on the flesh. Huwag sa ating sarili. We should understand what is right and what is wrong. And we should also question about the impressive credentials. Ano ba yung maitutulong sa atin ito? So, hindi naman tayo mawawala ng application. Let's go now to application. Ang paalala ay mabisang gamot sa taong nakakalimot. I specifically do it in Tagalog para madaling intindihin. Di po ba? Ito ay isang kasabihan na parati nating pinapaalala dapat sa ating lahat. Sino dito yung dadalo lamang dahil na imbita? Sa Bible study, kailangan pang tawagan. Pati yung nasa labas dyan, ha? pati yung sa prayer meeting. Natatandaan ko kung sino yung nagtaas ng kamay kangina sa gustong makilala ang Panginoon. Paano mo makikilala ang Panginoon kung hindi mo pag-aaralan kung sino siya? hindi mo kayang intindihin na nag-iisa lamang. Kaya meron tayong platform na Bible study, maaaring ang pag-iintindi, even na nagtuturo sa inyo, ay hindi tama. Paano nyo malalaman kung ang itinuturo sa inyo ay tama o mali, kung kayo mismo ay hindi naiintindihan? Kakain na lamang ba kayo ng pagkain na hindi nyo alam? Tinanong ko sa inyong lahat yan. So, continue to understand and know God by studying His life through the Bible. Sino dito ang gustong makausap ang Panginoon? Lahat kayo. Nagtaas din ang kamay. Talaga bang kinakausap niyo ang Panginoon? Or in times lang na may pangangailangan? In times lang na kapag meron tayong prayer request? Huwag niyo sabihin hindi kayo na-invite. Lahat naman kayo nandun sa meeting. Not unless hindi na isan mabuti ng admin. Kung anong time. So, paano niyo sasabihin gusto niyong makausap ang Panginoon kung hindi kayo dadalo sa pagtitipon na dumadalo siya? What I meant by that, ang Panginoon ba dumadalo lang sa pagtitipon ng prayer meeting? Gusto niyong madinig ang salita ng Panginoon. Ang salita ng Panginoon ay hindi lamang nanggagaling sa tinig niya na galing sa Kanya. Ang salita ng Panginoon ay maaaring manggaling sa taong nagsasalita. Ang salita ng Panginoon ay maaaring manggaling sa taong nagsishare. Ang salita ng Panginoon ay maaaring manggaling sa Bible verse na pinag-aaralan ng prayer meeting. Ang salita ng Panginoon ay maaaring manggaling sa mga awit na kinanta kanina. How can you get the wisdom coming from the Lord if you are not present? Physically present nga yung iba, mentally absent naman. 
So, when the time comes, bigyan natin ng panahon ang Panginoon. He is always there for us. It's really disheartening na we will be hearing something na pinabayaan ako ng Panginoon. Kapatid, never ever magpapabaya sa iyo ang Panginoon. Kahit hindi ka pa nakakakilala sa Kanya, naghihintay sa sayo. Sa iyo dapat manggaling ang pagtanggap sa Kanya. That's why we are continuously sharing the gospel, whatever we can, from all the elders, from all the churches. Kasi nga, ang paalala ay gamot sa taong nakakalimot. Ganito na nga ang sitwasyon natin kahit na pinapaalalahanan pa tayo. Eh. Paano nga kaya kung hindi? Can you imagine kung hindi pa tayo pinapaalalahanan? Kung ano na tayo? Kaya Paul is reminding the Philippians kahit na in earlier times wala pang text message, wala pang voice message, sinusulat lang niya, hindi siya mapapagod. Yun ang sinabi niya. And the same thing for all of us, kapatid. It's not only applicable for the elders, the officers in the church, sa lahat sa inyong manan ng palataya, sa lahat sa inyong brothers and sisters, remind each other. Magpalakasan kayo sa bawat isa. And the more glorifying fact about Apostle Paul in this time, he is telling and reminding his church while he is suffering. Most of the time, sa atin, kapag tayo nagsasuffer, kapag tayo may pinagdadaanan, mas gusto natin na tayo ang inaalo, tayo ang binibaby. Si Apostle Paul, siya na itong may nararamdaman, siya na itong may pinagdadaanan, siya pa ang nagsasabi sa church niya, rejoice. So, let's rejoice. Pastor, paano kami magre-rejoice? Puro ka... Pagalit. Hindi naman. Paalala lang. Second, in Philippians 3.1, it is no trouble for me to write the same things to you again and it is a safeguard for you. Ito po yung sinasabi ko kanina. There's no trouble on us reminding, reminding, paalala, paalala. As I again, as I've said, pinapaalalahanan na nga, nakakalimot pa. Paano pa kung hindi papaalalahanan? I-apply natin sa iba. Application number two, what believers do is a result of faith, not a prerequisite of faith. Malinaw po ito ha. It's not a prerequisite of faith. Ikaw ay yung ginagawa mong um, pananampalataya sa Panginoon, ito ay bunga. Hindi ka gumagawa dahil nananampalataya ka. Gumagawa ka dahil nasa sa'yo na yung pananampalataya. In Philippians 3.2.3, Watch out for the so-called believers understanding Christianity backwards. Ibig po sabihin nito, hindi tayo masasave ng mga ritual. Hindi tayo masasave ng legalism. Ang legalism ay yung sinasabi ng isang particular na church na kailangan yung gawin dahil ito ang magsasave sa inyo. Marami yan. Marami. Kailangan huwag kayong magpagupit ng buhok. Kailangan huwag kayong magsuot ng hikaw. Kailangan huwag kayong magsusuot ng deep jeans. At marami pang legalism like yung um, uh, circumcision na ito ang magiging salvation nyo. Hindi. Hindi yun. The only salvation is the individual faith in Jesus Christ. Kahit ano pa ang sabihin sa inyo ng mga kapatid nyo, ng mga magulang nyo, anak man kayo ng pastor, anak man kayo ng, ng mga Christians, one is to one. Hindi pwedeng manghila. Kanya-kanya. Ang salvation ng Panginoon. Wala akong timer ngayon. Eh. Ibig sabihin, on time ako. No? Huwag mo nang tingnan. Number three. Even the most impressive credentials fall short of God's holy standard. It is mentioned in Philippians 3, 4, 6, A person cannot earn salvation and eternal life with God by just earthly achievements. Medyo mag tatagal po ako dito ng konti sa application number 3. 
Ano ba ang pinagmamalaki mo sa Panginoon? Trabaho mo? Karunungan mo? Asawa mo babae? Asawa mo lalaki? Girlfriend? Boyfriend? Fiance? Maganda mong buhay? Ano pa yung credentials mo sa Panginoon? You cannot earn salvation by any of these credentials. Even Apostle Paul said, eight out of eight credentials na requirement to be a parisi nasa sa kanya. Pero lahat ng ito, itinapon niya. Paano niya itinapon? Makinig kayo sa susunod na preaching ko. Nandudun yun. But what we meant only on this stage is that you will not be saved kung ano yung ginagawa mo ngayon. Kung ano yung nasa background mo ngayon. Kahit gaano ka pa ka-successful. Kahit gaano ka pa ka-accomplish. It's only through God alone. In Ephesians 2.8 For it's by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not from yourself it is the gift of God so wala kang kakayahan na isave ang sarili mo not even the prayers of others it is you, your own belief, your own relationship with Christ what you need to do is to seek the King of Kings and that is only Jesus Christ Makita mo yung kanyang pagmamahal. Makita mo yung kanyang glory. You should repent to wash over your sin. You should have that selfless faith. Yung selfless faith na hindi mo iintindihin ang sarili mo, mas iintindihin mo ang kapwa mo. But before you, do, you, you have to be on that state, this is very important. Ask the Lord to heal your heart. Even at this point, your heart is not clean. Because you know why? All the questions na tinanong ko sa inyo kanina, I hope not lahat sa inyo nag-fail. To show you how to love, ask God kung paano siya nagmahal, ganun dapat ang maging pagmamahal natin sa kapwa. We ought to understand what is the difference trust between trust and confidence. Uh, the song really blessed me when Sister Bernice mentioned earlier one particular line there is to break my heart for what breaks yours. Do we understand what we ask of God to break our heart for what breaks His? Breaking someone's heart, parang napakahirap namang ipag-pray na, Lord, i-break mo yung heart ko. Hindi normal to understand bakit kailangan natin Ipag-pray kay Lord na break our heart. Bakit? Because you have a hardened heart. Matigas ang puso mo. Matigas kaya hindi mo mabuksan. Hindi lang sa Kanya, lalong-lalong na sa Kanya, pero para sa iba. What are the things that breaks our God's heart. Yun ang gusto niyang maramdaman mo. Only then, you will be able to understand what's the difference between trust and confidence. Breaking the heart of the Lord is sin. Kung nagbe-break din ang heart mo kapag nakakagawa ka ng kasalanan, then you're in line with God. God's heart is being broken apart if we are not following Him. Sana ganun din ang malamdaman mo kapag hindi mo siya sinusunod. God's heart is being broken 
if we are just showing off. Sana ganun din ang maramdaman mo every time na makikipag-usap ka sa Kanya, every time na maglilingkod ka sa Kanya, maglingkod ka sa Kanya, hindi sa nakikita lamang. So, pray to God to break your heart because you have a hardened heart. And this is the heart that needs to be emptied. This is the heart that God's heart needs to put in place. Amen? I would like to request uh, UPM to be up front and I would like to everyone to be stand para po sa ating na pasasalamat sa ibigay na mensahe ng Panginoon. Lord, uh, thanks be to God. Lord, tunay nga po na napakabuti mo sa pagsisimula pa lamang po ng gawain.
Show me how to love 
Kita mo, Lord, kung gaano kami kadumi, Father. You know every detail of our heart, Lord God. As what the song says, break our heart for what breaks yours, Father. Don't open up my eyes to the things I see. Show me how to love like you have loved me. Break my heart for what breaks yours. Open up my eyes to the thing that. As we walk from nothing to eternity, oh, Santa, oh, Santa, oh, Santa. Lord, we praise you, we glorify your name. Your name be lifted high, Lord God, in our life, in Jesus' name. All the glory, Lord, all the praises belongs to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. tatagalan ko ng konti yung closing prayer and benediction. Sabi ko sa inyo, open your eyes. Sit down muna a little bit. Um, we understand and I have asked earlier and mentioned earlier during the worship service na don't just be physically present. Be present. And tulad nung nasabi ko, and thanks be to God, yung closing prayer and benediction, your closing benediction right now has just come to me when Sister Bernice and the UPM team are practicing. And he mentioned, she mentioned multiple times, Lord, break our heart for what breaks yours. Really? Are you ready, church? Be careful of what you ask for. Our, lo- our God, our Lord, is a jealous God. Kung ano yung importante sa'yo ngayon, 
gusto niya mas importante siya. Are you ready? Naalisin niya sa'yo yung importante sa'yo ngayon dahil hindi mo siya binibigyan ng importansya. It's either your career, it's either your work, it's either your loved one, even your family. And this is what happened to Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul learned it and understand it the hard way. Iniwan niyo yung career niya, iniwan niya yung kabuhayan niya, even his own family and relatives. He asked God to break his heart for him to understand what are the things that's breaking the heart of Christ. That's why he established the understanding between trust and confidence. Just to understand a little bit, ano ba yung pagkakaintindi natin about trust and confidence? Dun sa relationship goals, iba yung definition nila about trust and confidence. On the spiritual side, confidence is willingness to commit to something that you are already familiar with. Alam mo na. That's confidence. Kilala mo na. Sure ka na. Trust is a willingness to commit yourself to the unknown. Really? To the unknown? How can you relate it to God? Hindi ba unknown ang, hindi ba known ang God? Why we mention that it is unknown? Let me explain. And I will make an example para mas madali nating maintindihan. Uh, sino po dito yung may mga anak na? Na mga bata, yan, at saka yung may mga pamangkin, may mga pamilya. When your child is young, most of the time when you're playing with them, you'll put them some, like, either swimming or uh, ilalagay mo sila sa mas mataas na lugar. And when you're playing with them, you're, you're asking them, okay, jump. Jump. I'll catch you. Um, ang tendency ng bata, kapag malayo ka at pinatatalon mo siya, he will be hesitant to jump. Either he is not confident sa'yo na masasalo mo siya or hindi siya confident sa sarili niya na aabot siya sa pagtalo niya. Baka maiksi yung pae. No, kidding aside. Then if you'll be going closer to the child, you'll ask him to jump. Pag tansya niya na malapit siya, malapit ka, at pag tumalon siya, aabot siya, it's increasing his confidence. That's confidence. Alam niya na positive yung magiging outcome. Clear? Trust is yung bata tatalon kahit hindi kanya nakikita dahil alam niya may sasalo sa kanya. That is trust of the unknown. And this is the trust that we Paul have given to the Lord. Hindi niya alam kung ano mangyayari sa kanya sa pupuntahan niya. Hindi niya alam kung ang mangyayari sa kanya sa mga gawain niya. Hindi niya alam ang mangyayari sa buhay niya. But he trusts everything to the Lord. And for him to understand this, he asked the Lord, he prayed to the Lord, break my heart. For what breaks yours? Um, there's still slight sell sa closing prayer, yung kasunod. Can you please uh, press, Sherwin? Yeah. Meron lang kasing uh, very specific um, thoughts that I want to share sa inyong lahat. Can I? Thank you. In Psalms 28.7, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him and He helps me. So, this is a known trust. Trust is that willingness to commit on something to unknown, but you have a known God. According to Cory Teen Boom, and this is really a good insights to everyone to to imbibe 
Never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. Amen. This is the condition that you should rely on all the time. It's, it's very difficult either in your career, personal life, or in a relationship na mag-trust. Kailangan mag-develop muna yung confidence bago mag-trust. But if God is in you, in your heart, then be the child na walang inisip kung may sasalo sa kanya o hindi. Just jump because you have a known God na sasalo sa iyo in all of your endeavors. And lastly, and this is what Apostle Paul have learned the difficult way and for us, sana medyo mas maging madali. You can never learn that Christ is all you need until Christ is all you have. Hanggat meron kang pinanghahawakan sa buhay mo na nagiging confident ka, hindi mo may iisip na si Christ lang ang kailangan mo. Either it's your career, either it's your personal relationship, even your family. Hindi mo may iisip na si Christ lang ang kailangan mo hanggat nandito ito sa paligid mo. I'm not saying go out of your career. I'm not saying leave your family. I'm not saying forget about what your aspirations, personal aspirations. Pero only you will understand that Christ is enough once you have this in your life. So, as I've said, Apostle Paul experienced it the right way. Now, for us to understand, ano yung na-experience ni Apostle Paul? Ready na ba kayo? Additional one hour pa? Hindi po. This will be the second part of Joy in Believing Part 2. The Greatness of Knowing Christ. Yun po ang susunod nating pag-aaralan sa susunod. So to God be the glory. Can I ask everyone to please stand up? Uh, Lord, maraming salamat po sa aming natapos na gawain. Thank you po sa paggamit niyo muli sa akin. Salamat po sa mga kapatid na nakinig na inyong salita, Panginoon. Tunay nga po na napaka-buti mo, O oh God, napaka bagamat mataling haga ang mga salita, matalim ito, Panginoon. Um, Lord, really, um, I don't know what to say, Panginoon. Talaga pong it's difficult to ask for in a prayer for you to break our hearts so that we will understand what to break yours. But if it's the only thing that we should do para po maintindihan at makilala ka, Panginoon, please do so. Thank you, Panginoon, sa ginamit mo sa, mga, uh, sa araw na ito. Gawin na rin po sa aming mga churches, Panginoon, from Achman and Sharjah, sa mga elders na patuloy mong binibigyan ng kalakasan para may share ang salita, Panginoon. Lord, biyaya at provisions ang aming pong hinihiling sa inyo para po sa aming mga kapatid, O God. Gawin na rin po sa mga kapatid namin na aming pinag-pray ang kanilang kagalingan, ang kanilang kalakasan, Panginoon. Ang prayer po namin ay magkakaroon ng lakas. Ang prayer po namin ay magkakaroon ng kagalingan dahil po sa inyong biyaya, Panginoon. Gamitin mo po ang bawat isa na maging daluya ng iyong salita, O God. Huwag po namin maging selfish ang aming sarili. Maging sa amin lang ang iyong salita, Panginoon. I-share po namin ito sa aming mga mahal sa buhay, sa aming mga kasama sa trabaho, sa aming mga kapatid, Panginoon. Gayun na rin po sa aming mga mahal sa buhay sa Pilipinas, O God. Lord, hindi pa man po kami nagsasalita. At ako na po kung ano ang nasa aming puso at gusto namin ilapit sa iyo, Panginoon. Salamat po sa mga biyaya, O God. Ang sino man po, Panginoon, sa mga naririto ngayon sa panambahan na nangangailangan ng iyong guidance, ng iyong wisdom, ng iyong paglilinaw ng kaisipan, Panginoon. Lord, not only break their heart, open their heart for this wisdom of God. Empty their hearts na ikaw ang pumasok doon. Kung ano man ang alinlangan na nasa sa kanila ngayon, kung ano man ang doubt, Panginoon, give them this rejoicing, continuous rejoicing in all seasons na wala kang ibibigay na suliranin na hindi rin ikaw ang magbibigay ng kasagutan, Panginoon. Tunay nga, Lord, aming ipinapanalangin sa iyo 
that you break our heart pero ikaw din Panginoon na magbubuo nito Panginoon kaya alam namin at tinatanggap namin na kung mag i-break ang aming heart Panginoon this will be a new heart a new heart na ganing sa iyo Panginoon a new heart na sana Panginoon mas may pagpatuloy namin ang paglilingkod sa inyo hindi like a falsehood isang tunay na paglilingkod Panginoon na hindi lamang ang ating kita kung kahit sa aming sarili, Panginoon, maipakita namin sa iyo ang patuloy namin pagsusumika, Panginoon, na maipagpatuloy ang paglilingkod mo. Hindi lamang sa church ng GICM, Panginoon, kundi sa lahat, Panginoon, na makakapakinig na iyong salita, O God. Lord, patuloy mong bigyan ng ningas ang kandila na sa, sa puso ng mga bawat kapatid na narito ito, Panginoon. Sa mga unang dalo na narito, sa mga patuloy na dumalo sa ngayon pa lamang hindi nakadalo, Panginoon. Lord, break their heart. But at the same time, we pray for you to mend it, Panginoon. Pagalingin mo po. Ito po ang aming sang dalangin sa iyong matanis na pangalan. In Jesus' name. Let's all raise our hand for our benediction. To Him who is able to keep you from stumbling, and to present you before His glorious presence without fault and with great joy. To the only God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ, our Lord, before all ages, now and forevermore, everybody proclaims, Amen. be the glory. Uh, panandalian lamang po, i-welcome lamang po natin yung ating bagong bisita. Invite po ni Brother John si Brother Renzo.